Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good day, Dr. Michael Burris. This is the Valter BB Show, broadcasting live from KKVI FM Studios in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm great. I was actually just in Dallas uh, earlier this week. Oh, isn't it a lovely place? <laughs> I love it. I love it. It is. It's a great place to visit, and it's probably a great place to get some really good rest and get some sleep. Tell me about... What you uh, want to inspire my audience with today? Well, you know, with the daylight savings time coming up uh, next week, one of the things that I wanted to talk about with people is how to prepare for that kind of situation. Because, of course, we're going to be losing an hour, and we already have a pretty sleep-deprived society, so I want to make sure that people don't lose even more sleep with daylight savings. What can they do to, to kind of prepare themselves then? So one of the things I tell people to do is on Wednesday and Thursday, you want to go to bed about 20 minutes earlier than you normally would. And then on Friday and Saturday, again, go to bed 20 minutes even earlier than that. That way your body is already starting to adjust and catch up on that sleep that you're about ready to lose, on, unfortunately, on Saturday night. Um, during that weekend of the time change, I also tell people you really want to stop drinking caffeine by about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Caffeine can have a half-life of up to 8 hours, and we don't want that affecting your ability to fall asleep, especially on a night when you might be losing a little bit of sleep. And that also speaks to the next question, which is alcohol. While I don't have a problem with you drinking a glass of wine with dinner, you really want to be careful about alcohol, especially if you know you're going to be losing sleep, because that could have an even more detrimental effect. And of course, you know, where would we be without our sleep environment? So one of the things I have people look at is what's going on in your sleep environment, meaning do you have the right equipment for sleep? I'm talking about your pillow, your mattress, your sheets. I've partnered with Princess Cruises and we've developed an amazing new mattress that we now have on all of the ships, or actually it's rolling out over the course of the next year, and we're very excited about that, but it's also now becoming available to people out there to give it a shot. All right, so do we have the, we get to sleep on the Dr. Burns bed? <laughs> Well, it's called the Princess Luxury Bed, but I am one of the people that helped develop it, and I was knee-deep in the process. We've got individually pocketed coils, specialty foams in there. It's really pretty unique, and it's extremely comfortable and supportive. Okay, so you've been a part of designing this bed. Give us some steps to achieving yes. better sleep and finding the right bed. So a couple of different things. So if you're trying to achieve better sleep in general, the biggest thing I can tell you is consistency. Going to bed at the same time, but most importantly, waking up at the same time turns out to be incredibly important for sleep. I know that's not so fun on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings, waking up at the same time you would during the week, but I promise you it actually will help your body get into sleep quicker and get into deeper sleep. Another thing that a lot of people don't know about is the effect of sunlight. So when you wake up in the morning, getting five or ten minutes of direct sunlight is actually a great way to help reset that circadian clock of yours and be able to allow you to get a better night's rest when you eventually fall asleep later in the day. Of course, we did talk a little bit about caffeine and alcohol, so those are two things. But if you really want to improve your sleep, a great way to do that is with exercise. We now know that just 20 minutes of exercise a day can be a tremendous boost to the overall quality of the sleep that you're getting. I so agree with you. Let me ask you, you, got, you guys did a recent survey, uh, Wakefield Research for Princess yes. Cruises, and they found that people take one day off a year just to sleep. <laughs> 
Not only do that, 75% of people take a day off, but another 40% of those people take four or five days off. I mean, that's a full work week just to catch up on sleep. I'm telling you, we're looking at epidemic proportions of sleep deprivation, and sleep deprivation affects a lot of areas of your health. As an example, if you're trying to diet or lose weight, there's a direct connection between how sleep deprived you are and your inability to lose weight. So depending upon what your health goals are for the year, you really want to make sure that sleep is up there in the top of your priority list. Dr. Boris, these are things. I have an initiative for the Valda BB Show. It's called Hashtag BBS Take Over Life. It's on Facebook. And I'm asking people to take control of their life. And you can do this with your sleep. Get your great pillow, get your great bed, and go to bed on yep. time. You can be in control. You agree? I absolutely agree. You know, one of the things that people have often said to me is they feel like sleep is out of control for them. They don't know if they're going to fall asleep or not fall asleep. By following your guidelines and my guidelines, I can tell you right now, you can control your ability to sleep. It is possible. So following these, and I love your goals and guidelines. I think that makes a lot of sense. So people need to understand you can take control of your sleep and you can take control of your health. Dr. Burris, if my audience missed any of this conversation, where would you send them online to find out more information and want to know about that sexy bed you designed? <laughs> so if people want to learn more, you can go to princessluxurybed.com and all of my sleep tips for the upcoming time changer there, and you can learn all about this amazing new bed. I will be pushing your sleep changes because I believe in them. I know and I love sleep, Dr. Burris. Thank you for being my guest today. Thanks, Valder.